What's up Thrallers, Miller here with an unboxing or unwrapping if you will of vinyl. This one I was super stoked to find, Scissor Fight. This is the Dumas Abruptus Volume 1. Uh, kind of a cool cover, cool artwork, a little wolf man here with the skull and the woods that, that describes this band <laughs> really, it's just crazy. It's, it's kind of like uh, Kind of like a heavy clutch, really, um, and I love clutch, and these guys are right up my alley, and, and I just kind of came across them recently, um, but again, I was uh, super stoked to find uh, this record. I did pick this album up at uh, through Discogs from Red Scroll Records. Uh, they're based out of Connecticut there. Cool logo. It's going to be out of focus there. Let me see. E there you go see that pretty sweet let's come back to me here but yeah uh, cool uh, he got it here pretty quick um, the the packaging was excellent on it um, I saved him in my discogs list because I'm definitely gonna if, if I'm looking for records on there and I don't go to my local guy um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up red scroll and I, I encourage all you to as well so let's uh, open this thing up. I don't think that there's going to be anything crazy in here. Um, nothing too special, I wouldn't imagine, just by the feel of it. Um, but this album is killer, and in itself, and it's it's worth worth listening to for sure. Get that open here. Oh, there we go. Probably the same paper that everyone throws their stuff in. Yep. So we'll replace the paper. Yeah, let's uh, see what this pressing looks like. Pretty basic, man. It's just a. Let's see, it says uh, Scissor Fight is Doug Sticks Jarvis Fortin, produced, recorded, and mixed by Benny Grotto at Mad Oak Studios. Mastered by Alan Duchess. West West Side Music. The uh, art direction on here is Brandon Rusa. Salt of the Earth Records. But uh, pretty basic. There is some stuff on here. Should be able to get all that out. Um, and you get some of that fuzz and paper remnants because of the uh, uh, you know what they they put it in is just paper and again, like, yeah no track listings on here or anything like that let me get this uh, in here Yeah, if you haven't heard these guys, they're like, like I said, a, a heavier clutch, definitely like a stoner rock. Um, yeah, they got goofy lyrics, kind of like Primus, um, but uh, with like a clutch, heavy clutch. Uh, there's a lot of Sabbath influence in here. There's just some heavy breakdowns, just a, the, the sound of everything fits really well. The dude's voice fits the type of music. I mean, he sounds like a caveman. Um, they're they're pretty unique sounding in the stoner stoner kind of rock. They're not as much doom in here. It's just a good stoner rock band. Caveman Television is awesome. Um, Piss in the Wind is hilarious. It's a great song. The Battle of Mudhole Mountain is great. Um, Where Eagles Drink. That's got a really really driving riff to it. And that if Where Eagles Drink that is clutch like all the way um, which is a good thing um, any band that wants to kind of not totally mimic the band but you know kind of pay homage or be in that same realm uh, of clutch is fine with me because the more bands like that the merrier um, 
These guys are a new favorite, instant new favorite. Uh, I've listened to most of their stuff. Um, actually, I want to say I've listened to all of it at this point. But yeah, Scissor Fight. Look these guys up. This album is fantastic. I would rate this uh, easy four out of five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four out of five would be good. I think a four and a half would be too much um, because, you know, I want to leave myself room for uh, perfection. And this is honestly pretty damn close. Uh, to be honest, it's a it's a close four five out of five really. So yeah, I picked this up. I, I got it for I think it was like twenty five bucks. Um, it's that's a good price. I, I would have uh, paid that uh, no problem because I am going to listen to this a lot. And uh, you know, there's some records you get sometimes that you will listen to a few times and it just kind of sits there. Um, but this will be one that I jam quite a bit, much to my wife's dismay maybe. <laughs> But if you like this, hit subscribe, hit the notifications. Uh, we do cool stuff like this all the time. I don't know, can I say that? That's Nick's tagline. I'm going to take it, Nick. I'll come up with something be better next time. But uh, we do these cool premieres and stuff, so we'll, we'll post up there and, and we'll join you and, and watch the premieres. We just did the uh, typo thing and, and me and Nick sat on and, and chatted with everybody um, while it was going on. It was really cool. So. Thanks for joining, and uh, we'll see you next time.